Welcome to the Constalix DNS Knowledge Base. In this tutorial, we will be demonstrating how to edit, add, and delete records. Once you log into your account, you will navigate to the sidebar. Click on Manage DNS, Domains, and choose the domain you want to add records to. If you do not have any domains yet, please go back to our How to Add Domains tutorial. If you have a domain, click on the one that you want to add records to. For this tutorial, we will be demonstrating how to add, edit, and delete A records. A records are the most used record type in any DNS configuration. They can be configured in a domain for a specific host, such as www.example4.com. First, you are going to click on the plus sign under the record you want to create. First, enter a name for your record. This is also known as the host name for your record, typically a computer or a server within your domain. It is important to note that the domain name is automatically appended to the name field of a record. For example, for www.example4.com, it's the same as creating an A record with the name field of www within the example.com domain. If the name field is left blank, then it represents the root record of the domain. The root record for the base domain can also be referred to as the Apex record and is demonstrated with an at symbol in some documentations. For this example, we are going to call it record1. If you have any additional features that you want to associate with this record, you can add them here, such as failover. We will cover that in another tutorial. You will then enter the TTL or time to live. This is measured in seconds and is the amount of time that the record will cache in resolving name servers and web browsers. The longer a TTL, then the less frequently remote systems will look up the DNS record, and the less query traffic the domain will receive. The shorter the time to live, then the faster DNS changes will propagate in the servers that have cached data. However, this also contributes to a higher volume of query traffic that the domain will receive. For this example, we are going to leave it with the default time to live of 1800 seconds. If you want to create an NX domain, we will cover that in a later tutorial. For now, let's move on to the IP address. For A records, you will enter the IPv4 address of your fully qualified domain name, or FQDN. An IP address consists of four octets, a 32-bit address. For this example, we will do 1.1.1.1. If you want to add another IP, as in for a round robin configuration, which we will also discuss in a later tutorial, you can do that here. If you want, you can add a helpful note. When you are done, click Save and Close. Please note that you must commit your changes in order for them to be applied to your records. You can add a helpful note to remember later why you committed these changes and then click Save. Now we are going to learn how to edit and delete records. Let's edit the record that we just created. Click on the checkbox next to the record that you want to edit. And then click on the edit icon below the record. Edit any of the information that you want from the record. When you are done, click save and close at the bottom of the screen. Don't forget to commit your changes or else they will not be saved to your record. Now let's delete this record. Click the checkbox next to the record and then click the delete icon in the bottom right hand corner. The record name will be crossed out. However, your changes are not committed until you apply them. Now your record has been deleted successfully. Thank you for choosing Constellix DNS, the most accurate GeoDNS management tool. If you require more assistance, you can submit a support ticket at support.constellix.com.